Happy Saturday, y'all. Today is May 25th, and today I'm gonna show you how to clean your Keurig. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the descaling uh, solution. So what we gotta do is, is currently it's off, so that's good, but we need to unplug this. So it's unplugged. Okay, so I'm gonna detach this and then I have to empty uh, the remaining water in it. So I detached it. I have to remove the water filter. And go over here. Yeah. Empty it out. So now that it's empty, I pour the descaling solution in. And then I fill this empty bottle with water. And I put it back in here, add it to it. All right. Okay, so I plugged it back in um, and I put the reservoir tank back on my Keurig. So what we do now is we put this back on. And then we're gonna turn this on wait for it to warm up um, and then I'll show you what to do next. All right, so now that it is completely on and warmed up, we're gonna place a large mug underneath. We're just gonna make sure that there's nothing in, which there isn't, then we're gonna do the largest one. So it just completed the first one. And then we take it over here. And I empty it in. And then I repeat the process until it says add water, which it's saying add water now. So on to the next step. Okay, so the next step is we let the Keurig um, stay on for at least 30 minutes. So, starting my timer now, and I'll check back in about 30 minutes. Okay, so it's been over uh, 30 minutes. We're at 40 minutes and counting. Um, so what we do is I remove uh, the reservoir tank, I empty it out, um, I rinse through it, and I fill back up to the fill line, and then I do the process of um, the cleansing thing um, at least 12 times. All right, so fill it up all the way to the fill line. So again, We have to pro do this process at least 12 times, and I'm not going to film every time. Um, 
but you get the gist of what you have to do. You empty the cup out, come back over, do it again, 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 again. Okay, so I just completed the 12th um, cup, um, so the descaling process is over. Um, another thing I bought are these rinse pods, which they recommend using um, about once a week, which reduces um, the flavor carryover um, between, between brews. So on to the next stuff that I'm gonna do. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually replace the water filter. So before I install it, I have to soak for five minutes and then rinse for 60 seconds. There it is. And then we'll start my timer. All right, so I'm gonna remove the old filter. Bye bye. So I'm just gonna rinse this a bit since I'm already doing it. So it's been over five minutes, and that's a, that's fine. Um, so we're gonna stop the stopwatch. We're gonna retrieve the filter. We're gonna come over to the sink, and we're gonna rinse it for 60 seconds. The stopwatch on. And I'm just gonna do this for 60 seconds. I'm not gonna film the whole thing. So it's been over a minute now. Let's do a little bit more for good measure. You get the gist of it. Here's the water filter. I'm gonna put it right here. Take this. It snaps right on. That's set to go. I'm just gonna empty this, rinse it one last time, and then I'll put the filter in. Empty. We have the water filter. We're gonna put it back in the reservoir tank. Just like that. Nice and easy. And then we're gonna take it and we're gonna put it back in our Keurig. Just like that. It's attached. Now we can add water. Water has been added. And voila. So I'm going to turn it off and unplug. And we're going to clean this. So I'm going to remove the pod holder. So you op open it up, place a hand, and we're going to remove it. Pretty easy. So we're going to remove the funnel from the pod holder. Easy. Okay, so they also have, have used a paper clip. So a clean one. 
And what we do is we clean, removing any stuff that might be in there. And it won't be able to go all the way through, but we'll try to loosen up as much as anything in there. So do that a little bit. And then what we do then is I'm going to go over to the sink and um, rinse both of these out thoroughly. Now they said be careful because you can see in there there's the the thumb that that needle. Um, so you don't want to cut yourself. It's kind of hard to see, but I don't want to accidentally cut myself or anyone else to accidentally cut themselves. But it's down deep right there. Right where my finger is, that's where it's at. The needle. So be careful of that. Run to the butt. All right. So we're going to clean the other needle. Um, there is holes, it's kind of hard to see, but there's a hole right here. Go in it, get any excess stuff, go in at the other side. All right, there's that. Be careful because it is a sharp needle as well. All right, so we're gonna put the funnel back on um, the pod holder, and it's kind of hard to see, but you wanna match it up. Just like that, really easy. And then we're going to come over here. And again, you kind of have to match it up, right? So, just like that. And push it in. It's all matched up, all good to go. And bam, you close it. So I'm gonna plug it back in. Turn it back on. Wait till it warms up. And then we have to run um, two water only cycles with it. So we do the largest side. This is just water only. So like I said, you gotta do that two times with the biggest size. So that is all done. Um, the next thing I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna lightly clean um, the back, the back splash of it. I'm also gonna end up cleaning this up. Um, definitely is, definitely grody. So clean that up. So I'm just going to use some dish soap and basically just clean it. Yuck. Yuck, 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 yuck. But you get the gist of it, right? Just rinse it off. And um, it's looking really good. That stain is uh, not there anymore. So that's good. And then dry these off. Clean this up. So I just, like I said, I, I cleaned this. Um, it's all clean. I cleaned the backsplash down below. I did up top a little bit too. Just, you know, get it, get it looking nice and fresh and clean again. It's always a good feeling. Um, I'm very pleased with my thorough cleaning of it. Um, so to wrap things up, what I did, I descaled it number one. Uh, number two, I replaced the, the water filter. And number three, I cleaned the, the pod holder and the needle of that. And then I cleaned the exterior as well. Um, so I'm very happy with 
how it looks um, and excited um, that it's back to looking like a brand new Keurig K Elite. Um, so all in all, the, um, the instructions are pretty pretty easy. Um, you actually can visit Keurig, um, their, their website support page, and it tells you there's videos and instructions on how to do it. And that's how I learned how to do, how I cleaned it today. Um, so cheers to actually one thumb up, uh, my other thumb's filming. Um, but just imagine there's two thumbs there if my other thumb is um, filming. Um, cheers for a, um, a successful Keurig K Elite cleaning.